What's up guys, it's Ven again, this time with another spontaneous, but not really as spontaneous video. This is a continuation of my previous mock spotlight video in which I reviewed my own creations. For those who might not be aware of the other video, I basically took out an old bin of Lego creations that I made from some time ago, haven't really touched them, played with them, and I said, you know what, I want to take a look at every single one of these kind of critique myself, see how I can make these better, and potentially actually make them better. I thought it was a fun idea to just show you guys what I'm capable of, and how I, much like other creators, can learn to improve and become better at what I do. So today we're going to be looking at a couple of mocks based on my TTV podcast co-hosts. Then I have an interesting but big gem that I want to show you guys, just to show off really. And finally I want to show you guys the latest build I've actually been working on. So with all that said, let's just jump into it. Alright, so the first mock we're going to be looking at today is none other than Messonac, based on uh, TTV host Meso. God, this is such a weird name. How did you come up with it? Mesonac? This is one of my oldest mocks and honestly one of my most favorite to work on over the years. He's gone through so many different iterations, like these legs. These legs were never like this before. No, definitely not like how they were uh, when I originally created this mock. Same with the arms, the body went through a couple changes. He didn't even used to have wings. Uh, I'll put a picture up of the original uh, just so you can see just how drastically I changed this mock ever since I first started it. The funny part about this mock is that I didn't really change it as much as I did improvement. All those differences that you can see are just stuff that I really just added on or, or kind of swapped out like the eyes for instance. They used to be orange. Thank God I had an extra uh, blue brain piece so I can give that to him because I think that looks way better than the orange but I don't know what do you guys think on that some things I would definitely change though would be the chest area and there's many jokes you could probably make out of that especially with the chains kind of dangling off here I'm not sure what I had in mind I just know that I liked the shape that these pieces together made but to be honest there's a lot that can be done there to not only make it look better, but add a bit more gold and spread out that color a bit. The legs also went through some interesting changes. They're a little gappy now, uh, and I'm not sure why I left them like this. I think it's because I just wanted to include these gold pieces, but there's a much better way I can in incorporate that. I'm definitely going to have to redo that part entirely. Maybe add a bit more detail to it as well, because I'm just not a fan of how this looks. Look at that. Look at the back of it. It's all completely flat looks nasty. Of course I'm the one that wanted to be super different and make him this like demon. Yeah I think that's the best way to describe him with the horns and the wings and the, I don't know he's a freaking demon, demonac. Now he isn't exactly the most stable mock. A lot of his joints are like really old and I can barely get him to stand up straight without them slipping on themselves. As you guys may have seen from the last video, he was like completely torn to shreds. He did not hold together. But I do like how I made him look. I like the cape and the wings and the claws and the spikes everywhere. And uh, Meso told me himself he was a big fan of this design. So I think if I were to rework it, it would just be a matter of changing up the entire build, but trying to keep the design consistent. I am definitely going to move that chain to a different spot. Okay, and the next mock we're going to be looking at is Vardaran, based on TTV co-host Var. Alright, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's based on Var's uh, idea for his own character. Like the Mesomach, he thought of the color scheme, he thought of the shoulder cape and the mask choice and everything, and I just kind of did it in my own style and overall he looks pretty solid his proportions could be better i think i made his shoulders a little bit too wide he's got back coverage for the most part i guess he doesn't really fall apart not like the meso mock does that the mock is just abysmal when it comes to keeping together but this guy was in a pile among other mocks and he stayed together pretty well i think the only thing i had to slap back on was his uh his arm i think it like popped off but that that's it really and he's cool. Um, I'm very happy with how I integrated the CCBS parts into it. It definitely makes the mock feel a lot more whole, especially compared to the older versions of this mock, which really don't look that great in hindsight. Much like Meso and the other TTV mocks, the VAR mock has gone through many iterations, and unlike uh, Meso, I decided to change up his design quite a bit. I remember taking inspiration, especially for the legs, from one of Var's own self mocks. I took a very similar idea and reshaped it, reformed it to fit this uh, frame. And really what I would do is build this frame over and over 
and then change it up a good bit to fit the character that I wanted. The thing is, every time I redo the TTB mocks, I usually start with Var just to get an idea of what the new basic build should kind of be like in terms of proportions and everything, and once I get him done, I start working on the others and start uh, basing their build off of his, and that's where the branching out starts. So let's say Var right now is the bar for the other TTV mocks, and then we're just gonna kind of make our judgments as we go along. But much like the Meso mock, I definitely want to change up the Var mock a good bit, give him a nice big upgrade, make him a little bit more unique, make him stand out more. All right, Var, get out of here. We're gonna move on to everybody's favorite, LJ. I don't know why he's everybody's favorite. I mean, I think I'm pretty cool, but I guess LJ's kind of cool too, right? So with LJ's mock, it was pretty easy. I mean, everybody's kind of familiar with how LJ represents himself as a Bionicle character. He's basically Liwa, but with the gold Miru always and some lime green shoulders, and that's kind of it. I mean, that's at least what I went for, except I did try to go for a creative twist with the design. Now here's where I'm going to show some similarities between the TTV mocks and kind of show you where I start to branch out. So I guess the way my thought process worked is that there would be this basic waist design, whether it used um, a pre-built waist or a custom waist like how I have on LJ. They both branch out pretty differently, but you can tell that I had a very a uh, similar thought process going into both of them. Now with LJ, it was kind of tricky because there wasn't a lot of good green pieces that I had in my collection at the time. With the Varmok, it was easy. There's so many different pieces in black and white, but with LJ, it was it was a, kind of a challenge, really. I had to use a lot of black pieces and try to hide them. Honestly, didn't do much of a good job. That does not look great. Look at these legs. Look at the back of them, completely black. But on the front, you can see it's just lime green, some green, and you know, it looks nice. It looks pretty much like how I would want it to. If I were to redo this mock, I'd definitely want to do better coverage and change these proportions for sure. Look at those shoulders. It looks like LJ's a football player. It's not the fault of the shoulder pads, really. It's just the way I used them and the way they complement the rest of the mock. They just look a bit too big. I like the way they look, but the rest of the mock is just so skinny and these are so big and bulky. I really gotta even that out somehow. Now, LJ's got his iconic Mangosteen blade that uh, does Mangosteen things. Mangosteen is his favorite fruit, vegetable, I don't know, piece of meat that he likes. I don't know why he likes it so much, but he does. And thus, his iconic weapon is dubbed the Mangosteen blade. And then he also has an AK-47 over here that I completely built out of Technic. Um, that I have kept for the longest time. And why, why does LJ have an AK? Well, the, the simplest answer to that would be that's his favorite weapon to use whenever we used to play COD. We don't play COD anymore though because COD is kind of lame. And uh, you know what? LJ is kind of lame. Look at him. Nah, he's not really that lame. He's just kind of generic. I would definitely want to replace these two, these bionicle parts. I, I can make them look way better. They don't fit the rest of the aesthetic. They have like all these ridges, but I guess when you limit yourself to using mostly bionicle parts, you can only get so far in terms of uh, consistent aesthetics, right? Am I right? Am I right? Get out of here. All right, now the next mock we're gonna look at is Viper, based on TTV host Fweffy, who used to go by Viper, but she doesn't anymore because Fweffy is just such a better name for her than Viper. Like, Viper makes me think of something that actively wants to kill you, like a secret assassin or something, but that's not who Fweff actually is. Fweff is, she's a Fweffing. It's honestly been one of my hardest mocks to work on. And the reason for that is because I wanted something to fit the TTV build, and with this one you can tell I took a lot of liberties with it. It looks nothing like the build that Var had. And the reason for that is because I was trying to capture uh, more feminine proportions, and you know, that's why the shoulders are a lot less uh, bulky and a little closer together and less uh, broad. But it's really hard to do that when all I'm working with is bionicle parts, and bionicle parts don't really naturally form feminine shapes. I mean, look at the mask. The mask doesn't look feminine at all, but this is the mask that Fluffy wanted, so I went for it. The color scheme. I could not decide on how to balance out these colors to save my life. When Fluff told me that she wanted these colors, I knew instantly that it was going to be a pain to work on this mock, especially with the way that I used to build stuff. 
just using bionicle parts I had to make so many bricklink orders and so many parts that I ordered didn't even get used because I didn't know how to fit them in properly I just ordered the, the color she wanted green white and gold I mean dark green not any green just dark green which is really hard to work with when it comes to CCBS and bionicle but yes here she is in her glory could it be better most definitely especially with the spread of the gold and for anyone wondering yes she uh, she actually has uh, wings on her back that's not just some random big I don't know what the heck you would think they are otherwise uh, like a jetpack maybe I guess it kind of did look like a jetpack with the way I had- Oh, she almost fell. Oh, she almost fell. Oh, she's gonna fall again. But yeah, I gave her wings. She said she wanted wings, so I gave her wings. The funny part is these wings were recycled from a completely different mog. I do like my build quite a lot, especially with the torso. Oh, and it could look better, but it does the job holding everything together. She's definitely one of the sturdiest mocks, aside from VAR. But really, if there was any mock out of the TTV mocks that deserved a big makeover, it's definitely her. I've got some really cool ideas as to how I can make this mock better, especially by incorporating system. And I really can't wait to uh, get to it. Oh my goodness, there's a broken piece here. Jeez, my parts are getting old, dude. Alright, so that's enough of the TTV mocks for now. Now I just want to show you guys something really cool that I made that does not involve TTV at all. I haven't really showed it off to anyone except my crew. So here it is. I, 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 this thing is so beastly, dude. Just look at it. It's the Wendigo. Or maybe I did show it off. I actually don't remember if I posted pictures of this guy anywhere, but this is the Wendigo based on uh, this... Uh, mythological creature. Is it a creature? Is it a spirit? I, I can't recall off the top of my head. I know it's some sort of thing that's supposed to lurk in the forest and can take on the form of this giant uh, humanoid deer-headed thing. There's plenty of pictures you can find online. I know there's like a really cool interpretation that was shown off in I think The Wolf Among Us. But anyway, I based this build off of um, a piece of artwork I found online of the Wendigo, and man, I gotta say, I, ca I think I captured that look pretty well, especially using just Technic and Bionicle. I think this is one of my better uh, builds in both those areas. The reason why I use these printed pieces is because I ran out of shells that didn't have printing, and I, I don't know, I guess I thought it would look cool. I wasn't using these parts for anything else, and honestly, I, I wish I had more just so I can add more to the rest of them. This head right here, all technic. All technically, uh, tech, technic -y goodness gracious. He's got these really cool creepy antlers and he's got these huge freaking claws. I remember being very happy with these claws when I first put them together. Just the shape that they make. Very much what I had in mind. Now here's something that could definitely be improved upon. The rib cage. Uh, look at that. I tried really hard to make these bionicle claws work together to make a nice looking ribcage and it, it kind of does the job but they keep like, you know, bending in really unnatural ways, in ways that they're not supposed to. I think I could totally redo this part at the very least. I don't think this is a mock I would want to incorporate much system into. Maybe if anything I would incorporate a little bit to fill up some gaps, but of course if you guys have any suggestions. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, you know what? I just found something I think I could totally improve upon. The backside. Oh man, I just really like the way these Technic beams look next to each other. It, it kind of reminds me of like Lego muscles or something. Like he's got back muscles. Shh, nobody's gonna miss you. Just come with me into my lair. Get that out of the shot. All right, now something different that I want to start doing is showing you guys my current projects such as my new self mock, the new Ven mock, uh, Ven mock 2.0. I said get out of the shot. The new Ven mock 2.0. Look at that. Just completely different from before. Uh, better proportions. Um, is it finished yet? No, it's, it's a work in progress. There's still some things I kind of want to clean up. So let me know what you guys think. Is this a better change? Yes, I know. I already took note that uh, his stability is still imperfect. But hey, it's a rough draft, I guess, for lack of a better uh, way to describe it. I really did want to incorporate a different shade of blue and change up the eyes. So that's why there's a little bit of a dark azure here. And I tried to incorporate that in the legs as well. 
I think I might want to incorporate some more in the torso just to make it a little bit more unified. The hands are not always going to be this way. Once my brick link order comes in, these fingers are going to match these fingers and I'm going to have completely silver fingers. Or maybe I should have completely blue fingers, I don't know. But yeah, for a bit of context, I've been mentioning here and there that I've wanted to redo this, these mocks and uh, do something different, make a lot of changes, make them better, and I've been working a lot more with system, more so than ever. I recently just sorted my collection at home and started building random stuff and got myself a lot more comfortable with it, and now I decided, you know what, I kind of want to just start trying to integrate it into my mocks. I see Mockus out there like Jaffa and Shadow Gear and Alira and Brick Thing all doing these amazing things by incorporating system into their builds. And those are just a few Mockus that have inspired me to just kind of take a step back, rethink the process. And now I've come up with this and I am honestly a lot happier with it than I was before. It's a direction that I definitely want to take with the other TTV mocks and we'll see how that goes going forward. But if you guys have any suggestions, if you like the new style, if you think it needs a little bit more system or maybe it needs a little bit more Bionicle or Technic or something, maybe whatever can help with stability and keep it together, let me know in the comments below. Now just for size comparison, here's uh, LJ and then there's my new self mock and here's the Wendigo just kind of creeping up right behind him. Yeah, my self-mock actually is just about the same height. How about that? I actually sketched it out uh, prior to working on it. And normally I don't really plan ahead when it comes to building my mocks. I just kind of go into it, bust open the bins, and start building with whatever colors I like. But for this mock, and I think for all mocks I want to do going forward, I want to kind of start planning things a bit more carefully. Because I decided that since I work best when I have a reference, I should at least come up with my own reference and visualize the design I have in mind, sketch it out before I even start building. And once I come up with a design that I like and it's there in front of me, I can start building based on it. I think starting out this way helped a lot in the building process, so I'm probably going to continue to do this for my next couple of projects. And as you can see, nothing stayed completely the same. I definitely took some liberties as I was building and came up with different ideas, but overall, you can kind of see where I was coming from with that design and what I had in mind. Oh, oh, that foot is really annoying me. Now one piece of feedback I'd definitely like to hear from you guys is on the colors. Uh, do you guys think I have a good color scheme going? The dark blue, the dark azure, and the silver, and bits of gray, or should I add a different color? Should I take away a color? Uh, let me know in the comments below, because that's the one thing I've always been indecisive on when it comes to representing myself in any sort of way like even as a Spartan on Halo I couldn't decide if I wanted to be blue or red or purple or whatever you know all right guys that's pretty much it for today so definitely leave me some feedback in the comments below or on the message boards maybe if you guys have pictures or videos to show off it's easier to link them there rather than in a YouTube comment it's where I'll also actively be posting pictures of any updates in case I don't put them in a video. So if you guys want to follow along in my process and give me suggestions actively, definitely check out the message boards. Or if you just want to join any other discussion that we have on there, whether it be about Ninjago or the newest sets that just came out from LEGO this summer, or maybe anything else that you're into, like video games or movies, check out the message boards at board.ttvchannel.com. And of course, if you guys like this video, you guys like videos like these, you want to see more just like it, it gives you inspiration, or you just like hearing me talk about my Legos, hit that subscribe button, check out the Patreon, do whatever it takes to show the channel some support. With all that said, I look forward to seeing more feedback from you guys as to how I can improve. Since it seems that this concept is pretty well received, I will be continuing to make videos like these based on my own creations. I will continue to make mod spotlight videos based on uh, creations that I find within the community so you guys definitely have that to look forward to I'm not gonna stop with that I still want to kind of get my thoughts out there I will have a different perspective on some things now that I'm trying out new techniques with building and now I've kind of considered some things a little bit differently as far as what it takes to make a proper Lego creation I guess it feels a little weird wording it like that because I know it's very subjective as far as what a good mock is. I mean, everybody's criteria is going to be different. 
But at this point, it's not really about that anymore. Now I just want to start up a discussion as far as like how we can make our Lego stuff look cooler. Jesus, I've been talking so much for this video. There's going to be so much I have to cut out. But that is it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time.